Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I am the face behind the aesthetic dollar. My kids are back in school as of today so I was really excited to just get back to filming. My house is empty, it's quiet, and I just have room to think. This week's video is going to be a little bit sporadic. It's almost like a launch prep part two because I ended up pushing my launch back by one week for a lot of different reasons. So there was a lot of factors that went into pushing back my launch, but I wanted to share some of those reasons with you guys. So one of the reasons was just honestly, the kids being home was really hard to get anything done. Even though I was working in pockets of time throughout the day, it wasn't very productive and I was ending up staying up really late at night, like until two, sometimes three in the morning, and my body just couldn't take it anymore. So I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get everything done that I needed to get done with the time that I had. So that was one reason. Another reason is that the beginning of September is always really hard on my body because my dad passed away September 6th of 2020. And my body does this weird thing every year where it almost remembers the grief. And so I get very tired easily. I'm irritable for no reason. I get overwhelmed, I get anxious. I just didn't wanna push my body further than I should and just take care of myself. And so that was kind of the biggest factor in changing the date of the launch. And when I scheduled the launch, I wasn't really thinking that that would happen because although the grief isn't on my mind all the time, my body remembers. So I just needed to do what was best for me in that time. Those are kind of the two main reasons that I pushed it back. As I'm filming this today it is September 7th. The rest of this video is just going to be me prepping for the launch and getting things done and just taking you guys along with me. This order from FedEx here has a lot of my freebies. It also has all of my savings challenges, more thank you cards, it has so much. So the original order, they did the wrong finish on everything so it was glossy which would make it really hard to color on because it would smear and so I had to they had to remake this order for me so yeah these are the the freebies and they're just oh this is so much better I can tell it's the matte finish so that when you color on it it's not going to smear so I do need to cut all of these I've been looking for a company that will do that and I have not found anything locally to me as of yet so I'm still doing all of that so originally I was going to release two new savings challenges for the event series, but I think with this launch, I'm only gonna do the new home savings challenge series. The travel and vacation series is almost completed. I just have so many other things to do that that one might have to wait until the next launch. I need to get those all cut. There are 13 saving, like separate savings challenges in the new home bundle, so it's a lot to cut. Plus all my freebies I have to cut, plus I have a new kids savings challenge. I had some orders come in last night, overnight and this morning, so I'm gonna get those packed up and sent out. And then after that, I think I've got some work on the computer that I need to get done. So, okay, let's get started with packing orders and then we'll move on to the next thing. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places, makes me laugh about the irony. Bye. 
11 30. I was just looking at my to-do list. I actually created a kind of like a checklist for when I have restocks and, and launches because there are so many components that go into it. You know, like when you're a small business owner and, and it's just you, you have to wear all the hats and it can be extremely overwhelming at times but I do really well with checklists. And so I kind of created my own little checklist for all of the different things that I need to get done. I also created one for my winter launch prep. So I have, I'm already starting to think about my winter launch, which I mean, I'll do a restock yet before I have my winter launch, but that will have a lot of my holiday ideas in it. So I, I created this checklist. So I think what I'm gonna do right now, because I don't really have like a solid plan for today. I really, I wasn't in my office at all yesterday. So I did not come up with a plan. I need to do that right now. Just kind of decide what I wanna to prioritize today. There's just so much, it's, it's sort of overwhelming. I'm waiting for shipments to come in that should have been here already. So anyway, I'm going to come up with my plan, decide what I'm gonna do, and I will be back because I will tell you guys what my plan is. While I plan out the rest of my day, I just want to really quick thank Lens Smart for partnering with me in this week's vlog. I am actually wearing a pair of blue light glasses that Lens Smart so generously gifted to me, and to say I'm obsessed would be an understatement. I am so picky when it comes to glasses because they usually hurt my ears after a while, but I've been wearing these for two weeks on and off and they are so comfortable. So I got the Ellie frames and added the blue light lens. And something I don't talk about often is that I'm actually legally blind in my right eye, which results in frequent headaches. And so my eye doctor told me that I should be wearing blue light glasses because I spend a lot of time looking at screens. And since I started wearing blue light glasses, my headaches have definitely been far and few between. So Lensmart has hundreds of frames to choose from and can even help you choose frames that complement your face shape. You can add a lens to your glasses to fit your needs, whether that's blue light like me or reading prescription lenses. And speaking from experience, I can tell you that their customer service is seriously awesome. So they're actually having a sale right now, so you can get 20% off your purchase if you use my promo code DOLLAR, and I will link all of that information in the description. Thank you again, LensSmart, for partnering with me in this video. I will definitely be hitting you guys up for more blue light glasses because I'm obsessed. Okay, so I think I've come up with a plan. It's not a ton of tasks, but they're all very time consuming and I probably won't even be able to get them all done today. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create an email to send out to everyone who's subscribed on my website, just updating them on the launch and restock. And then I also am gonna post to Instagram and YouTube just so that everyone is on the same page because I did change the date and so it's caused a lot of confusion, which is, you know, gonna happen. And then I have a lot of envelopes that I have laminated already that just need to be cut, hole punched, and bagged up. And then I have a lot of envelopes that I have not finished yet. So working on envelopes, I need to cut my freebies and cut the savings challenges. I have A5 budget binder pages and cash planning pages. Well, the cash planning notepads, I just need to shrink wrap. And then the A5 budget binder pages, I need to hole punch and shrink wrap. So I'm gonna take care of all of the social media marketing type side of things. And then I'll probably start with cutting my envelopes because I think that's stressing me out the most. So I'm gonna start by cutting my envelopes and then we'll move on to other things. One eternity later. So it is 1.44 p.m. That email took me two hours to create, but I did get other things done in the meantime because it made me realize how much I still hadn't done, which is on my to-do list, but it's kind of like a puzzle because I need to do some things before I can do other things. So one of the things was as I was creating the email, I realized I hadn't uploaded any of the photos onto my website, so I had to do that. And there were a lot of products that I hadn't priced yet, so I hadn't like figured out what my cost was, including shipping and tax and all of that. So I, it was a lot of math for each product. Pricing products is always really hard for me because as a small business owner, you have a lot of expenses and I don't wanna price something so high that 
nobody is able to purchase it, but I also don't want to price it too low where I'm barely making a profit. So it's kind of something that I, I really struggle with as a small business owner. But so I had to go through and price everything, get the photos on here. It just took a really long time. Now I have to leave to go pick up Liam and Rowan from school in about 15 minutes. I'm going to stop and get a coffee, I think, because I want to. When I get home though from picking up the kids, I do plan on hitting up my list here. And I think Oh, there's just so much to do. Okay, I need to process through the Sophie and the Classic, but my bags haven't come in yet, my dust bags. So for now, I'm just gonna put them in the bubble pouches to keep them from getting damaged. And then I have a disaster in the downstairs bathroom because that's where I've been storing all my shipping supplies and I you can barely walk in there. So we do have a closet in there that's full of clothes that we never wear. So I talked to my husband and we're gonna completely clean out that closet, put shelving in so I can store my shipping and more inventory in there because it's been really hard to find a small enough place. I don't wanna call it a warehouse. I would basically need another room this size and I just, I don't know what to do. I don't work well when I have clutter. <laughs> like I need it to be clean and organized or else my brain just feels jumbled and messy. I love having a clean space and organized space. All right, so I've been talking long enough. I'm going to get in my car, go get a coffee, go pick up my children and then come back. I also have errands that I need to run, which I think I'm gonna do tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna do a really quick unboxing. When I got back from picking up the kids, these boxes had arrived, and I wanna show you guys what's in them. So I have not seen them yet. It's a new product for the fall launch, so I'm sure you can guess what it is because I've already talked about it in this video. Um, and can we just give a huge shout out to Kua at The Blessed Budget because she sent me this box cutter and it's been a lifesaver. So thank you again, my friend. These turned out so cute been getting a lot of requests for things like this. I've never been able to find anything that was exactly what I wanted because I love making lists. And so people have been asking for desk pads, but I don't think I'm ready to create something like that quite yet. Uh, but I did create a daily plan notebook or notepad, I should say. And they turned out so good. I love it. So, so here's what it looks like. So yeah, it has room to write like your, your daily schedule and then kind of like your top three main priorities for the day and then your six most important things list, like the, the six things that you really wanna get done. Meal plans, so like breakfast, lunch, and dinner and then just a bunch of spots to jot notes. Same size as the cash planning notepads and there are 50 sheets on this notepad. So I'm really excited about how these turned out. So this will be the very first product for the Noted Collection, is what I'm calling it, the Noted Collection. And I have a few more things up my sleeve for this as well, so stay tuned. But there's another box. <gasps> oh my god, finally. Finally. So I either talked about this in my last vlog or in one of my cash stuffing videos i don't remember but i have been having the hardest time finding a good manufacturer for my teller slips because the sticky notes always like like they and they're like a little bit um like wavy or they're just not good quality like the print bleeds etc and so i asked everyone if they would like to have like a notepad version so this is like the notepad version of the teller slip and they turned out so cute so these they don't normally make them in this size so I did like do a custom order but it's almost the exact same layout except they are it's like a notepad so I absolutely love this I need to double check how many sheets but I actually think there are it might be 25 no it's way more it might be 50 it might be 50 sheets on these now I don't know they're a bit more expensive to make, but I just think the quality is so much better. Um, the pages are a little bit thicker, so it was keeping me up at night not being able to find a manufacturer that could make like good quality teller slips. I'm so happy with how all of this turned out. Super happy with these um, daily plan sheets, and I'm actually gonna keep one out for myself and start using it, so yay. <laughs>
Good morning. Today is Friday, September 8th, and we have a lot to do today. So I ended up actually getting some work done last night after my entire family went to bed. I came down to my office and ended up cutting probably close to 400 envelopes. So this is only, I don't know, I've got these two bins like by me right now, but this is only half of what I cut last night. So I think this morning I'm going to hole punch these and get these packaged up so that they're done. I still have an entire stack, probably four inches high of laminated envelopes that need to be cut and hole punched as well. And I have four envelopes in one laminating sheet. So I'm getting close to getting those done, but then I have a whole nother round. So I still have to do all my placeholders and I still have to make the holiday sinking funds bundles. I'm excited to get this batch done though, because I think once I get my cash envelopes done, like all the bundles for the launch and restock, I'm going to feel so much weight off my shoulders just having those ready to go and i'm making more for this launch and restock than i've ever made in the past so hopefully more people can get them and i don't get mean emails of people being mad that i'm always out of stock so i have about an hour before i need to leave i'm actually getting my nails filled and then i also need to stop at the bank because i need to film my cash stuffing video today a lot of filming today but that's okay I absolutely love filming. I love editing. Like I love everything that goes into making YouTube videos. So yeah. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to start with the hole punching and then see how far I can get before I need to leave for my nail appointment. people feel like this but do you ever just feel like when you're in your car like everyone can see everything you're doing and like you're the center of the universe I hate filming in the car because I feel like everyone knows I'm filming in the car and I don't know why that bothers me but it does I'm on my way to get my nails filled I'm gonna pick up Starbucks on the way I redeemed a gift card with my Fetch rewards so I figured I would treat myself I hole punched all the envelopes that I wanted to hole punch so when I get back I'm just gonna bag them up So something else that I forgot to mention is that I am actually gonna film three videos, I think, today. I'm gonna do my weekly cash stuffing video, and then I also want to film a video where I'm just kind of going over the new products for the fall launch and talking about them. I think that'll be helpful because I have a lot of newer products for this launch. I also desperately need to film a cash condensing video, so I think I'm going to try to knock off all three of those today because today is Friday and I for sure need to do my cash stuffing one, but it's just so much easier to get them all done when I have everything set up. So I think after I get my nails done, I'm going to go home and film those three and then continue to work on my cash envelopes. I do need to leave to pick the kids up at two o'clock, so our schedule is so unfortunate. I don't know if that's the right word, but Liam and Rowan go to a private school and they start school at 7.30 in the morning and then I pick them up at two o'clock. So Eli goes to a different school because he's in a life skills program. So Eli and Bristol leave at 9 a.m. and get back at 4 p.m. So I have like five hours basically, which is a lot more time than I used to have and I'm grateful for it, but I'm like, what's the most important things I can fit into that time span? Ugh.
is Tuesday, September 12th, and it's been a few days since I've talked to the camera, but that doesn't mean that we have not been productive here. I'm happy with the progress that I'm making so far, but there is still so much to do, and I am on the floor today because I am going to go through and process as many binders as humanly possible over the next however long. I'm hoping it takes me less than two hours. The Lizzie collection came in, so I had ordered another like round of the A6. So I have a ton of taupe, and then I also have black and white back in stock. So those will be available for the launch, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna start with the A5 Sophie binders and get them processed and put on my shelves in my closet there. And then I'm not gonna be able to process through the A6 until tomorrow because that is when my bubble pouches come in to fit that size. So I'm gonna do all of the A5 first and then we'll see what I feel like doing after that. It all needs to be done. I'm to the point now where prioritizing isn't prioritizing because it all needs to be done. I'm closing down my website today at noon, so right around that time, I am going to hop on the computer and get some work done on the computer, work on my website, get all of that ready to go so that on launch day, I can reopen the site with all the new products and restocked products. So it's about 10 a.m. right now. I'm gonna start processing through binders and wallets and trying to get these boxes out of my office because they're taking up a lot of space, get everything put on the shelves. And then I also created sort of a tote system. So we have a lot of construction going on in the other room. So the other room is kind of like our living space and it is a disaster right now, but we are putting in cabinets, which was always the plan. We just kind of like hurried the process along so that I could have more storage. So we're in the process of getting those cabinets put in. So let's get to processing through those binders.
can't remember if I mentioned it in this video or not, but for the boho keychains, I ordered backer cards to attach to them for packaging and they turned out so good. So these literally just got delivered like five minutes ago and I ripped the box open because I was just so excited. But I wanted to show you what the packaging looks like. I just put one together. So I think these are so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna... I'd like to be able to attach it somehow, but I don't really know how to. So for the sake of time, I think I might just let it go. But how cute! It turned out so good. I really don't want them moving around in here, but maybe my sister's coming to help me tomorrow, so I might see if she's got an idea, but look how cute that turned out. The boho keychain. So now it will be safe and sound on its journey to you. I love how these turned out. All right, you guys, well, that is it for this video. I did end up posting a different YouTube video explaining all of the products for the fall launch. So instead of showing them to you in this video, go ahead and head over to the other video, which I will link below so that you can easily find it. But I go through all of the products close up, talk about all of them. So definitely go check that out. But like I said, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. In my next video, we're going to be wrapping a few things up for the fall launch and restock. And then I will be filming on launch day. See you then.